Thunder blows online TV. Thunder blows. My name is Patrick Ikweto, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. So like I said, uh, you have trampled into a gamble. For you choosing not to bring any witness before the court, relying on the evidence of the plaintiffs. Is it not a gamble? As a, as a, as <laughs> no, as a, no. no, if you listen to me very well, what I said was that we're going to be relying on the evidence already before the court, yeah. both in chief and under cross-examination. But more importantly, the documentary evidence before the court. Now, if you put all these three together, you find that we have enough evidence in defense of the case before the court. So, so I don't see any gamble at all. To you, there is no gamble. No, okay, no now gamble. let's go to the issues that you have raised with the second uh, plaintiff witness, PW2. Specifically, how do you feel when a witness who is adopting a report before the court is saying he didn't even know the name of the chairman of the panel or his secretary? Well, it's for the court to evaluate his evidence okay. and the court to make a pronouncement on what the court thinks about his evidence. Okay. But um, we'll leave it to the court. I'm not going to judge that. I'm not the judge. The court will judge and evaluate his evidence. Okay. So, so now, when are we expecting you to move on with filing your final address? Well, um, the, 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 the court says uh, when we come tomorrow, we will give directives on that. Okay. I mean, we are hoping that if the court allows us, that we will be able to file our final address within seven days. Too we can. Okay. We can. Seven days, 14 days, no problem. Okay. But you see, the judge wants to finish the case before he probably travels in September. Thunder blows online TV. Thunder blows. Barista do as a. You have also followed the same suit. Yes, that very well. You, you are not bringing any witness. Yes. Is it not a gamble? No, it's not a gamble. The law is very clear that um, there, there's a, there, there must be a difference. You need to know the difference between not calling evidence and not calling witness. Okay. We already have evidence on record. The evidence we got from them on that examination is evidence which the court can use. So you need not call a witness. Okay. But you provided you called evidence. Yeah. So we think we have enough evidence and we don't think it's a gamble. We think the law supports our position. So you two are closing your case? Yeah, of course. We we'll close our case. Then, so when uh, are we anticipating you, uh, you filing your final address? Well, within uh, seven days, we have uh, objections okay. which we will argue together with our written address. Yeah. So we shall be asking the court to strike out the suit for being incompetent in the okay. first place and on the merits to dismiss the case on the merits okay. for being frivolous. But, but sorry to ask, mm. what if the court has granted your prayer for the extension of time, the motion tomorrow. Is this so relevant with the dimension the case is taking now? The no, motion you are waiting for really tomorrow? No, the, the motion says, the motion is to extend time for us yes. to file our defense. With the development? No, there's no development because we, as we as we indicated on the last time we came, yes. uh, this is a case where the plaintiff is seeking for a declaration. Yeah. And the law that if you're seeking for a declaration, you have to prove your case, even if there's no defense. Okay. So either way it goes, uh, we are hopeful. Thunder blows online TV. Thunder blows. Mali. Okay. You are for whom? Um, for all the plaintiffs. Okay. We have uh, learned that you have closed your case after presenting just three witnesses as against six you have intended to present. What pleases you to to think uh, with the testimony so far by the three witnesses you are so close to close the case? Yes, because we are comfortable with the evidences we have laid before the court. That is why we have to close our case. There is no need for us to call any further witness to come and testify in this matter. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. How, how pleased are you with one of your witnesses, Mr. Jude, who gave evidence after, uh, before the court today? Well, there my, was comp, go and comp. Thank you. And the defense counsel. The truth is that he is a witness subpoenaed by the Honorable Court to come and tender a document, not to even come and testify. Okay. We are silent because all the questions that are being thrown to him will not go to any issue. Okay. He was subpoenaed to come and tender a document, but the other counsel went extra mile. So that one does not go to any issue at all. Yes. So, so now that they are relying on the evidence tendered by 
uh, by, by, by the plaintiffs, especially and the, uh, the evidence is under course examination by the witnesses. Do you think, uh, are they not doing harm to a case? No, I think that is the highest risk any lawyer can take. Choosing not to call any evidence, even if you have defense to rely on the plaintiff's case, it is it's a, it's a, it's a high risk of cost. If, if, if the plaintiff is maybe a, uh, shown to have proven his case, that means the defense will have a problem of cost. All the reliefs will be granted, the prayers of the plaintiffs and the, 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 the defense will not have any time to call any evidence. Maybe only appeal. It's a very highest risk that any lawyer can take in his practice. Thank you. Thunder blows online TV. Thunder blows.